In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to plan your day effectively so that you can be more productive and accomplish as many of your goals as possible. I'm Reggie Bryant. I used to be the guy who needed this advice. Like I would literally search and, and scroll through YouTube for hours just looking up videos on this. And what I would see is a lot of spreadsheets, charts, and Google calendars, and all of these things, and project management tools. It's like, slow down. You don't, you don't need all of that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you guys a much simpler way to manage your time and manage your, your day and really plan your days effectively so that you can get as much done as possible. And if you've ever felt frustrated because you either had things to do that you know you had to get done and you just didn't do it or you did them at the last minute, it is purely due to lack of planning. And here's the thing, planning starts with prioritization. And you know what? Prioritizing is completely based on who you are as a person, what your core values are, what goals you want to achieve in life, and what you stand for. That is really what your prioritizing is coming from. That comes from knowing your roles as a person. You might be a parent, a student, a teacher, a leader, a manager, an athlete. You might be any of these things. You might be an entrepreneur, a businessman, a businesswoman. It doesn't matter. You have a role in life or roles in life, which means you have to use those roles to help you prioritize. And the best way to prioritize is by using the prioritization matrices. And that's just a fancy word for a box that I'm gonna show on screen right now. So basically all it is, is, is splitting urgent items between important items in four different ways. And so the first quadrant is urgent, not important. The one in the up is urgent and important. The one at the lower left is not urgent, not important. And the one on the lower right is not urgent, but important. Then you're gonna use this matrix to really understand what is important to you and what needs to get done like right now. And I'm gonna blaze through this really quick. If you stick around to the end, I'll show you an actual example of me doing one. I'll actually fill out what my roles are and what I expect of myself. And then I'll convert that over to the prioritization matrix and I'll actually show you how I fill it out myself. So that way you'll have something to go off of when you fill one out for yourself. I want you guys to comment down below, what are your roles in life? I'll comment mine as well. All right, so here's where it gets simple. Right after you figure out what your priorities are and which things need to get done first, that's when you write all your tasks down. You basically put all your tasks down on paper and that way you can actually see them. You don't have to put them in any particular order. The point of this is just so you can put them right in front of you so you don't forget anything. And what I find is that when you put your tasks down on paper, like things that need to get done, you're actually more accountable to get these things done. It's like, now that you see them, it's like they have to get done. That's at least how I am. When I see something written down as unchecked, I have to get it checked. I have to get it done. And for this, this doesn't actually have to be on paper. I actually use my iPhone notes app and I literally just put bullet points on, I need to get this done today, I need to get that done today. And then just however many tasks that need to be done for that day, that's that. Once you've got your tasks on paper, you need to plan your time. So it really breaks down to two things. One, actually assigning times of the day to actually do the task. And number two is actually timing the task itself. This is a game changer because most people just have all the tasks written down on, on paper or in their notes app and guess what? All it is is a to-do list. This is taking a to-do list to a next step. This is really making this a, a very advanced way of getting things done even though it's very simple. So basically all you do is put a task down and say, okay, this is the time of day I'm gonna do this. Like I'm going to go to the gym at 5 p.m. And this is how long it will take me while I'm at the gym. I'm gonna stay there for 45 minutes and then I'm gonna come back home. And once you do that, you really kind of put that, you put the emphasis on yourself that I can't be doing one task all day long or forever. If you don't assign times to tasks and if you don't assign time limits to each task, you'll typically spend way more time than you ever should on doing one task. And that's one way to combat that. So next you wanna plan out each task as much as possible. In order for you to plan your day for optimal productivity, you're going to have to do this. Plan out every single activity. What do I mean? You want to plan out each task as much as possible, meaning that, meaning that if you say that you're going to cook, what are you going to cook? You know what I'm saying? Like, how many times have you been getting ready to cook and then you're like, huh, what am I going to cook today? And you spend literally minutes trying to figure out what you're going to cook today. This eliminates that. You know exactly what you're going to cook. If you're going to clean, what are you going to clean? How long are you going to be cleaning it? You know what I'm saying? If you're going to go to the gym, what workouts are you going to be doing? 
This is because you want to minimize the amount of decisions you have to make during the day because it prolongs the amount of time it takes for you to complete a task. And then also, also, you can't forget, it gives you decision fatigue, which means you're going to be, you're going to have less energy for your next few tasks that you have to do. And that is a problem. And decision fatigue is a real thing. Like, I'm not kidding. Look it up. These are just things you can plan these out in your head or you can put them on paper. It doesn't matter. But either way, you, you just need to know what you're going to do. And the biggest piece of advice I can give you is to actually commit to the plan that you set out for yourself for each day. And, and, that's, and this isn't this is more than just how to plan your day. This is how you plan your week. This is how you plan your future. This is how you plan your life. If you take these same principles and put them into weekly form, monthly form, it's the same exact thing. And it all starts with prioritizing. It all starts with knowing what role you have in life or what roles you have in life. And that trickles down to daily habits and daily things that you do. And so you got to commit to these things. And consistency is the key to, to excellence. So like you got to consistently do these things that you that you plan for yourself to do every single day. You, you got to do it every single day. It's not negotiable. That's why you have to have those priorities and those non-negotiables in the very beginning of this process. It's so easy to talk yourself out of, out of doing something like, hey, I'm going to skip the gym today. It ain't going to hurt. You know, it, it, it could really set you back for weeks or I'm not going to cook today. And then what? You, you go out to eat, waste money when you could have just cooked at home. That's, you know what I'm saying? Like these things are minor setbacks, but if you consistently set yourself back, then it's, it's going to hurt you is what I'm trying to say. So commit to it. Absolutely commit to it. Stay consistent. And this is how you plan your day effectively. This is how you get the things done that you've been needing to get done. This is how you prioritize. And as a matter of fact, since you actually made it this long, as promised, I'm going to show you right now exactly how I fill out the roles that I have in life and how I fill out the prioritization matrix. So we're going to go over to my tablet slash laptop thing. All right. So as it relates to goal setting and really just accomplishing as much as possible, I only broke it down to four roles, but obviously you can really expand this as much as you want to, if you want it to get, to go to a relational level and you want to put like your role as a brother, a sister, a father, a mother, whatever the case is. But for the sake of this, I'm just going to show you guys four examples in regards to my goal setting. So when it comes to social media and all that other good stuff, I'm an influencer and at work, I'm a leader, a manager and in life in general, I didn't know what word to use. So I just put healthy human being. And so as it comes with these things, I'll do things such as reading to learn more so I can be a more effective influencer or a better leader, or um, I will practice certain things. I'll go to certain meetings. I'll go to certain masterminds to become more effective at what I do, or I will go to the gym and eat right to become a more healthy human being, if that all makes sense. So what does this look like in prioritization matrices? I will show you. I apologize in advance for my handwriting, but we're going to quickly go over this. So in the urgent and important one, this is this is the most important quadrant of them all. Quadrant number two, uh, urgent and important. So that's where you're going to spend most of your time at. And the way I fill this out is, you know, stuff that are legit, fine, urgent and important, like content creation, daily thing. Gym, daily thing. Answering comments, you know. I need to get better about that, but that's urgent and important to me. And then, so, so you want to focus on the things that are more important. Urgent and important are the biggest priority and always will be. And then you have the second most important one, which is important, not urgent. And that stuff like the doctor's appointments, for me at least, and dentist appointments, it's like you don't have to do it like today, but you have to do it within, you know, a year or six months or however long you wait in between. And then also something that's really important for developmental purposes and also just my influence in general is, is reading and listening to podcasts and really getting that perspective from people who are much more knowledgeable and influential than myself. And then you have areas where you want to spend as little, spend as little time as possible, which is the left column. So on the left side, you have urgent and not important. And that's stuff like emails. It's pretty urgent, but it's not like the most important thing in the world. Like I get a bunch of emails that just aren't really about anything, but it's, I still got to read them. You know what I mean? And so you got emails, 
mowing the lawn, for example, like you're not gonna die if you don't mow the lawn. So, I mean, it's urgent because it grows pretty quick. You know what I mean? And then paying taxes, of course, it's urgent. That's it's tax season. That is the time to take care of that stuff. So that's, that's why I put these things over here in, in this section. And then for not important, not urgent, I really wanna bring this home right here, watching Netflix, playing video games. These are things that I absolutely do when work is done. So like, I'm you're not, you're not going to see cases where my stuff isn't done. Like the important stuff and the urgent stuff is not done, and I'm over there playing a video game or watching Netflix. Like I just I firmly believe that you've got to get work done and and really accomplish things before you get to reward yourself. You know what I mean? So these this is how I fill out the the prioritization matrix and hopefully this helped excuse my handwriting i know it sucks but it is what it is so anyways thank you guys so much for watching i'm reggie bryant this channel is all about personal development and personal finance so that you can control your life and just really master your life so control you control your finances control your life thank you so much for watching if you like this video hit that subscribe button